Jack Catterall versus Arnold Barboso needs to be next since both have agreed to fight on X and Eddie Hearn already wants to make this fight happen. Now who would win this fight? Well before we talk about who would win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Jack Catterall fought Jorge Lonaris in which Jack Catterall rocked him around five. He's matched him with his reaction. Oh, good back oh, Good left hand as well. Jack Carroll lands some great shots out landed Jorge Leonaris in which Jack Carroll ended up taking it by decision. He's still the WBA Intercontinental Super Lightweight Champion. That is Jack Carroll just recently fought Josh Taylor for a second time in which both went back and forth. Both had some great shots until Jack Carroll rocked them around 11. His body as well and that creates a... Oh! From Cat oh my gosh! And Jack Carroll ended up taking it by decision. Oh! Unanimous decision, El Gato! Now let's take a look at Arnold Barbosa's latest performances in which he fought Shola Sani, in which Arnold Barbosa took control of the whole entire fight, rocked him in rounds 5, 6, and 8, in which the ref seen enough and stopped the fight at the end of round day. At this, Arnold Barbosa went on to fight Sean McComb, in which Sean got robbed in this fight. I mean, he completely outboxed and destroyed Arnold Barbosa, but Arnold Barbosa still ended up taking it by decision. He is still the undefeated WBO! Now, I would like to see this fight happen because I believe that Jack Carroll should now be seen as a big threat for anybody in the 140 pound division considering that he just beat josh taylor and i believe that he beat him in the first fight as well so i want to see jack Catterall expose arnold barbosa because arnold barbosa does not deserve to be ranked higher than jack Catterall. jack Catterall deserves to be ranked way higher than arnold barbosa for many reasons as i believe that jack Catterall has everything he needs to give anybody in the 140 pound division big prompts so anyways let's go over some information about both men and why i believe that arnold barbosa loses to jack Catterall. now the important thing i want to talk about is both men's records because when you look at arnold barbosa's record he's undefeated with the record of 30 wins with 11 of those wins coming by knockout and when you look at jack catterall he stands with a record of 29 wins with 13 of those wins coming by knockout and he only has one loss now based off this you would say that jack catterall and arnold barbosa have no power since they have a low knockout rate but here's where jack catterall has an edge over arnold barbosa and that is because although he doesn't have a high knockout rate he does end up dropping and hurting his opponents very often he just can't seem to finish him something that we don't see from arnold barbosa so in the end it's clear that jack catterall has the power style of fighting and skill to easily hurt and finish arnold barbosa so that's my prediction i believe that Jack Catterall is going to drop Arnold Barbosa multiple times throughout this whole entire fight, and he might be able to knock out Arnold Barbosa.